Hello, hello, beautiful humans. My name is Jen Chanot, and I am a developer advocate at Ivan. Today, I'll walk you through how to create a database, schema, and table in Postgres via PG Admin. Let's get started. All right, we are currently in PG Admin, and in a previous video, we set up the Postgres setup service with PG Admin. So check out the description below to be able to see that. We'll get started with setting up our database schema and table. First, I'll show you an example of pre-filled information before we set up our own. On the left side, you'll be able to see your server group. By clicking the dropdown, I'll be able to see the one that I use for my own website, as well as the one I set up for these videos, Postgres Setup. By clicking the dropdown, I'm able to see that I have three databases. Clicking the dropdown again, there's three, the Ivan, the default DB, and the one that we have with pre-filled content. I'll go ahead and click the dropdown there. Under schema, I can see that we have one schema there. Clicking the drop down, I can see that we have our public schema. And if I scroll down, I can see that we have 15 tables already. Clicking the drop down there, we can see that there are tables that include actor, addresses, category, and so on. So this is to show you what it would look like with example data preloaded. Now I will close our preloaded database and I'm going to go back up to where it says databases. Right click, you'll see create and create database. I'll name this database makeup because that is how I first started learning about databases and understanding queries. There are multiple options here if you'd like to go in further later on of definition, security, parameters, advanced, and SQL. For now, we're just gonna create the database and click save. You can now see on the left that the makeup database has been set up. And if we click the drop down for schemas, we can see that public is already there. If we wanted to, we can scroll down and go to tables and create a table here. Although let's create our own schema first. So I will right click on schema, click create and create. We'll call this one travel makeup. And public could be, you know, if we wanted it for when we're not traveling. Under general, as you can see, there's also different options here that you can look into of general security, default privileges, and SQL. For now, we'll just name it and click save. Now that the travel makeup schema is set up, I can click the drop down and go into tables, which if I right click, I can click create table. Let's call this one lipstick. And you do have other options here. I do want to call out of columns, advanced constraints, partitions, parameter security, and SQL. If you would like to go ahead and set up your tables before code first, this is where you would go. If you do, if you decide to do code first, you would be able to connect here with something like Prisma, which will be linked below in the description as well. We now have a new database set up called Makeup, also a new schema set up called Travel Makeup, and a new table within there called Lipstick. Yay, we got it. In this video, we reviewed how to create a database, schema, and table in Postgres via PG Admin. In another video, we'll show you how to get started with a few queries. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to Ivan. Bye!